Founded in 1973 by John and Alice Tyler, the Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement is the world's most prestigious environmental award, celebrating laureates who have made an extraordinary difference for the benefit of humanity. This year, we celebrate the achievements of Professor Johan Rockström, whose groundbreaking research on planetary boundaries provides the clearest picture we have on the health of our planet. His leadership, determination and eloquence has earned him an impressive global following, including Indiana Jones himself, Harrison Ford. Johan is a trailblazer, a brilliant mind, a remarkable person. Like Indy, Rockstrom embodies the spirit of discovery, exploring uncharted territories in environmental science and bravely pioneering the entirely new field of planetary boundary science. With unwavering determination, his quest to save our planet for the future of humanity makes him a hero worthy of the big screen. By the early part of this millennium, <laughs> it was obvious that Earth systems were in a state of decline. We knew there was a crisis. What we didn't have was a plan for the crisis. We were saving the ocean here, the rainforest there. There was no strategy. Earth system sciences were working in more siloed packages, so physicists in their domains, chemists in theirs, and geologists and biologists in separate domains. But they didn't tell you about the state of the planet. What was needed is something to bring all that together in one place and to give us a, a real overview of, of the impact we were having on the planet. Johan brought together a team of 28 leading scientists to identify the systems that are essential to human life on Earth and measure how those systems were performing under the pressures of increased human activity. What keeps Earth habitable? Johan Rockström was able to define that what, what constitutes Earth's life support system? And where are we in trouble? The concept of planetary boundaries just defines what keeps Earth safe in a universe that is really not very friendly to humans. So the planetary boundaries framework brought the science together across disparate areas, across you know, climate change, across nutrient cycles, across water availability in a way nobody's done before. And that has an impact and a power that all of the individual assessments of things like water and climate change and land use just don't have on their own. We were able to um, have the Holocene as a reference point so we could for the first time quantify a safe operating space. That has never been done before. So it's like uh, taking the planet to the doctor and having a systematic comprehensive diagnosis of the patient. Because if you don't know the state of the patient, you cannot find a cure. The planetary boundaries were widely adopted by scientists and decision makers alike. I love the planetary boundaries framework. And as soon as I heard it, I thought, you know, ah, there's, there's an answer. There's a way to look at what I could see locally and the global picture at the same time. Due to its conceptual clarity, the planetary boundary science has made huge impact, both not only in terms of scientific community, but also in terms of policymaking process. So it's not just something that sits in an ivory tower, it's now being used actively by a whole set of actors around the world. The planetary boundaries are incredibly useful for seeing the world as a whole. Not just the animals, not just the climate, but everything together, so we know where to put our efforts. Johann's planetary boundaries were an alarming call to action, but also served as a guide for reform of policy, governance and business practices. Fundamentally, this was a contribution for science, but it was also clearly science for change. The fact that we've transgressed now six of the nine boundaries shows, oh my God, this is serious. It's real warning that we need to act quite urgently. A lot of the indicators are going in the wrong direction. I think Johan and many others do persevere because it's so important to keep bringing this message to decision makers who have the power to make change. It is definitely very frustrating. The world will not be destroyed by those who deny the planet about the science. It will be destroyed by those who neglect that we have a problem. The world needs to step up and needs to recognize that, that this is not the moment to sit still anymore. Johan has worked tirelessly in his efforts to turn cutting edge earth science into a global framework for urgent change. I think Johan Rostrom deserves to win this Tyler Prize for environmental achievement because he really is the leading scientist and communicator of our time. 
people know his name, they've heard about planetary boundaries, and he just explains it so well for impact. Johan is more than a brilliant scientist. We're looking at a really special human being, and I am privileged to be his friend. Johan Rockström has had an enormous impact on conservation. Johan is a trailblazer, a brilliant mind, a remarkable person. The Tyler Prize Committee felt that Johan's work on defining planetary boundaries is a perfect example of science leading to impact for informed actions. This is environmental achievement at work, and we at the Tyler Prize are extremely proud of our 85th laureate.